Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Analytics with Asmi. In today's video, we will be looking at how to convert year month day formatted column into a proper date in Power BI. I will walk you through six different methods so you can choose the one that fits your needs. So let's dive in. I have opened the Power BI desktop here. Now first look at the data. Here if we go to the table view, here we can see we have a demo date table where we have a two columns ID and order date. So here we have a simple demo table in Power BI with the year, month and day format. Here you can see first four numbers are year 2024, then month is 01 and then day is 15. So this is a common format used in many data set and sometimes it can be tricky to work with when you need a proper date field. When you are dealing with a time intelligence function, you need a proper date here. So we need to convert this year month day format into pop proper date field means 2024 slash 01 slash 15. Now how to do this? Power BI provides multiple ways to convert this year month day format into a proper date. Now let's check it out six different methods to convert this in a proper date form. We are going to see two power query methods and four DAX methods. Okay so let's start with the power query one. So the first method let's open the power query. If you prefer cleaning and transforming your data before loading it into a Power BI, this method will be handy. Now in the first method, here we can see our queries here. Now here we have a ID and our date column here. If you observe here, here the data type is a number, whole number. So when you want to convert this into a date table, if you directly change the data type to the date, now here you can see we are getting the errors. Okay, so we cannot convert directly to the date form from the whole number to the date form. So for that what we have to do, I am just deleting this tape. Okay, now here what we need to do here, first convert this into a text form. Okay, now here we can see that data type is a text form. Now then convert it into a date format add a new step now here we can see we are getting in a proper date format this is a year this is a day and this is a month this is a american format that's why month is first then day and then year so this is the first method where you can convert a year month day format into a proper date form now let's see the second method in power query where we are going to use the m language okay so first what we'll do here, first we will create a three new columns here, year, month and day. Okay, then we add a new column here. Okay, so for that, for getting a year, month and day, we have to split this order date column. So for splitting, you have to select it and here in the home, you will get option of a split column. Just click on that and go for by number of characters. So as we want a year 2024, so I'm writing here four, okay and just clicking on once as far left as possible and click on ok now here you can see here we can see here okay and just uh, remove these extra steps change type now here you can see we are getting year so i'm writing here year now we want a month and day so again we have to split this column so i'm just selecting it go to the split column num by number of characters here i am mentioning two and click on ok now here you can see we are getting the month here and here this is D. Now we have to create here a new custom column where we will be getting a in a date form or date in a date form. So for that we will go here in the add column, go to the custom column and we will give name to this column as a date and here we are going to use a function f as date okay here we are going to put year okay then month and day and just complete this and click on okay now here you can see we are getting the date in a date form now here you can change the data type to the date 
so this is a second method where we have used the m query for creating a proper date now let's move to the third method by using dax so here you can see here we have a two columns id order date and here we are going to create a new column here new calculated column here so for that i will go here and create a new column and here i will just copy paste the dax which i have already created so here you can see that here let me zoom it for you now here you can see that we have used here a date function so whenever you are using this date dax function here you have to put the three parameters year month and day okay so now if you can see here this order date it is in a whole number okay so to convert date we have used a value function okay so value function will convert it in a date form and as we want a extreme left so we have used a left function and we are extracting the four letters here so it will extract a year right then again if we want to extract a month here again we have used the value function okay to change the data type and then again we have used the mid function here to extract the month so we have extracted the fifth position from fifth position and we have extracted the two numbers that's why we have used a mid 5 comma 2 then we have moved to the third parameter where again we are changing the data type by using a value function and we are going to see the right positions from right we have to take extract only the two numbers so which will extract the day here okay now if i am entering this now here you can see that here we have get we got a date in a date format date and time format so this is how by using the date function and left mid and right function we can convert this number whole number into date here if you can see the data type is date and time now let's see the fourth method where again we are going to use a dax function here only difference will be instead of this value we are going to use the int function okay so here again i am going to create a new column okay and here i am just pasting the dax function here you can see again we have used a date function here in this date function we have to put the three parameters year month and day so for extracting the year we have used the left function here which is extracting the first four numbers mid is extracting two numbers and right is extracting again the two number which is a day okay so by using this left mid and right we have extracted the numbers here and to change the data type we have used here the int function okay now if we run this now here you can see again we are getting the date in a date format and data type you can see here which is a date and time so by using a date function and again the left mid and right along with the int function you can convert a number to a date now let's see the fourth method which is little complex where we are going to use a dax function divide and move okay now depending upon your requirement and which suits your needs you have to choose the methods so this fourth method is little complex so let's see how we are going to do this so here again we are going to create a new column okay creating a new column here and just i'm pasting the dax function here and i will explain it to you what we have done here so here again we have used a date function here so in a date function as we know that we have a three parameters first is year then month and then day so for extracting the year we have used the divide function here so what divide is doing here divides just dividing it by a number 10,000 okay so this efficiently shifts the decimal point four, four places to the left isolating the year for example uh, now if we see the calculator here and if we take this number so number is 2024 0115 divided by 10,000 
so here you can see that we are getting 2024.0115 so it is extracting the year 2024 okay so that's why we have used the divide function here now next function we have used the mod and again divide so again we are using the same number in a divide function okay so if we are dividing 20240115 with the 100 so what we will get we will get 20240015 okay so divide shift the decimal point two places to the left isolating the year and month then we are we have used the mod function so mod what it will doing what it will be doing it will take the remainder which divides by 100 which will extract the month okay suppose for example in the same example if you are taking okay uh, i am again taking 0115 divided by 100 so here you can see that this is extracted okay by divide function and by using the mod function again we are using 100 okay so if we are dividing this with the 100 the remainder re remainder is 01 which is a month so we have extracted the month by using the mod and divide function same for the day function so by using the mod function we are extracting a day here now if we enter this now if we enter this dax function now here you can see that we are again getting a proper date format which is having a data type date and time now let's see the last method which is the sixth method where we are going to use a format function okay this is a very simplest function but here the data type will remain in a text form we need to convert it into a date form okay so let's use that dax function here so again i'm creating a new column here and let's paste the dax here here you can see that we have used a format function here we have put the order date and here in the second parameter we have put the format so we want here in a year month and day format so year 40-00-00 okay now if i enter this now here you can see that we are getting it in a proper date format but this date format is a text form so again you have to go to the power query and or you have to change this date format into a date and time so these were the six methods we have seen where we can convert the year month and day format into a proper date form to summarize the video we have explored six powerful methods to convert year month day to a date in a power bi using dax and power query so whether you prefer using a calculated column or transferring your data in a power query both method gives you flexibility depending upon your workflow so let me know which method do you prefer in the comment box if you found this video helpful make sure to give thumbs up and subscribe to analytics with asmi for more data tips and hit the bell icon to give notified for my latest video see you in the next video thank you for watching